Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Viewers, I'm glad that we're back again. You know, as we do the series of uh, rebuttling the atheists who have different views as opposed to the creation. And we know clearly from what we see, the wind, the air, the stars, the moon, the fact that we exist is a proof enough that God exists because nothing comes to existence by itself without the one who created it. And let's take a, a scenario of a machine which is enclosed in a metallic case but in production but we can see the production because it is being encapsulated with uh, a metallic case now when we remove the metallic case we begin to see various parts in the machine complementing each other for production now just because we have discovered the production of the machine does it also means that we understood the intricate motion that is going on in the machine no do you know the kind of machine that i'm talking about that machine is the human being who created the human being that scientists today are stealing ideas from the nature of man. That is why Allah said in the Quran, وَلَكَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَا وَحَمَّنَّاهُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحَرِ وَرَزَقَنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَلَّنَّاهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَسِيرٍ مِمَّنْ حَلَقْنَا تَفْلِيلًا Oh my God. You know what God said? God is in effect saying that indeed He has created man. He has molded man the way man should be molded. Who, if not the creator, will be able to create such a complex human being, a moving industry, a machine, so to speak. I want you to imagine some kind of, uh, you know, factory. Look at the engine of the machine, the parts. But yet, they complement each other. The same is true with the human being. We have our system that is so perfect. You eat the digestion, you know, the production that comes from the spleen, the liver, the lungs, the larynx. All these things complement each other, just like a machine that you and I created. Man, we got to think ahead. So Allah said, إِنَّ فِي حَلْكِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْتِ وَالنَّخَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِأُولُ الْأَلْبَابِ الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي حَلْكِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ خَازَا بَاطِلًا سُبْحَانَكَ فَكِنَّا عَذَابَ النَّارِ most certainly in the creation of the heaven and the earth and the alternation of night and day are indeed signs, are indeed lessons, are indeed information, are indeed something that will boggle your mind. But for those who think, those who reflect, those who analyze information, at the end of the day, what do they say? Rabbana ma khalaqta khaza batila. Oh my Lord, all these things were not created in vain. Glory unto thee and protect us from the scorching fire. Allah Akbar. We've got to think. We don't need to see God with our eye. Can you look at the sun with your eye for one second? No, your eye is going to go blind. Then how would you want to uh, uh, behold the glory of God himself? Impossible. Don't go far. Within yourself, can't you see? This is the series that I'm going to be doing for the next, I don't know. So let's just wait and see. The atheists have bite a muscle that they can swallow. Khazawabillahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.